Hi, I wanted to do a feeding video and show you how we feed our dogs here at home because it's important how you feed your dog. It's important to pick the food up every day even if they haven't finished it. You give them 15 minutes to eat it and then you pick up their bowl. Well, he'll go hungry. Well, he'll next time the food dish comes around, he'll say, oh, I'm hungry. Uh, I better finish this now. And all these little pieces put you back in control of um, household management of your dog and make it easier. So right now, Darla usually hangs out right here by the kitchen. She's not allowed in the kitchen, neither is Wesley. Wesley's hanging there on his bed. I'm gonna call him over. Wesley, come. Good boy. Place. Good. And the reason I move him is because as soon as I start rattling the dishes, he's going to pop up. And so it's all about, no, it's all about managing your dog and telling them where you want them to be. And that puts you in charge of food and your household also. So they're not crazy, they're not barking. Um, when I prepare the kibble and I've got dinner going, they may have to wait a while. Somebody gives me a call, the dishes are hanging there, they're still just waiting. And that's what they've learned how to do. And it builds impulse control so that they can um, just hang out and wait. I feed good quality food. And I rattle around a little bit, make it a little more difficult. And before I feed him, feed them, I give him water. And then down. I move Wesley from one place, rug, to the next because he's been known to jump up and grab the food and I don't want him doing that. And it's also about moving him around from place to place so that he gets um, used to being told what he needs to do. Okay. Wesley, come. Place. Good. Darla, come. Sit. Now with Darla, she's six. Nope. I have her look at me. Good. And she's done this enough times. She'll wait there while I work Wesley. And what I do is I hold the dish up and he looks right at me. That's what I want, is that good eye contact. I move the dish down. Nope, he needs to stay looking right at me. Nope, dish goes down. Yes. Nope. Okay. And he knows it now, so he's able to do it faster. But if you're just beginning this, you put the dish down and you just go back and forth while he sits there and waits. You start to feel like you're running out of time, running out of patience, and he's still not looking at you. You take the bowl and just set it aside and come back to it. Again, he's going to get hungry, but that's going to make him more in tune with you and more interested in figuring out, what do I have to do to get the food? Oh, I have to look right at you. Okay, good. And then you do this consistently twice a day with every feeding, and you get better results. And the reason I do um, emphasize good feeding control like this is so that when you're out on the walk, then they're listening to you, then they're watching you even more. It's the little things that all add up to a bigger picture. Thank you. Have a great day.